G'day guys, how you going? Just opened up the warehouse. Um, we've got the concrete coming today. So we've had the white ant guy um, guys come and do their treatment. Now I've, I haven't seen this before, but they've put the this white plastic down and um, yes, and they've put these, uh, you know, bits of plastic around it. So I don't know how that, how that works really or how that source anything, but apparently the termites and stuff, uh, yeah, can't get up there. So I was gonna put black plastic down, but obviously this would be, be all right for a membrane. And you can see all the, all the pegs are all ready to go. So you can imagine, you know, now when, when the concrete comes in here, it'll, it'll all bind around these, around these pegs and then really bind in the, the, the two areas. Here's the mesh that we've got. So that mesh, uh, when, when Brendo and Benny comes, we'll be lifting this um, mesh up here and just putting it on, on there, tying it back a bit. And then hopefully the concrete truck can just drive, drive into the warehouse and back it up here and then just, you know, pour it all. And then you can see we've, um, Brendo's marked out all the walls here. Okay, so this is where the walls are sitting. You see this is the, uh, the wall here that will be for the kitchen. Okay, so that'll go across and you can see it'll sit on, on the new slab um, that we're pouring and, and see how Brendo's, you know, really taken that right down there for the, um, you know, for the, so it'd be a, a lot thicker for the wall to sit on. Now, it doesn't really need it uh, because that wall's not taking any you know, real pressure or anything like that from the mezzanine because that's, that's um, yeah, it's a self-supporting sort of thing. But um, yes, yeah, it'll, be, it'll be good once it's all sorted out. So um, that's coming in about half an hour or so. So we'll just make sure we're ready for that and then um, get going. Oh, concrete and that always makes me a little bit nervous, you know, because whatever, whatever happens with concrete, if, whenever you start, in about two hours you're finished, no matter what be a good finish or a bad finish but anyway um, Brendo's awesome at all this stuff so um, look forward to getting it done so we'll, I'll keep videoing uh, as we get it all sorted okay stay tuned so Brendo and Benny have arrived which is awesome because concrete scares me a bit uh, we've got the wheelbarrows ready so we've picked up the mesh and laid it in position so filled it up nicely um, we've got like I just put a bit, couple bits of little PVC there to keep it off the ground so when the concrete pours around it um, it can it can go underneath it and stuff like that. Um, so we're all ready to go now. Um, now Brendo said it's probably not a good idea to get the concrete truck into the factory and, and wear it out because it's a 20, 20 ton. It could you know damage the floor, which is is smart. So hopefully the concrete truck will just uh, we'll just back him up here, and then it'll come. Yeah, you know, hopefully the chute will come through the door here, and then we can just barrow barrow it all across, smooth it all out. So. Um, yeah, we're just waiting for the concrete truck to come now. And uh, yeah, then we can get straight into it and a couple hours will be finished. Okay, it's been two hours and uh, we're finished. And it's, it's come up a, a fantastic job, thanks to uh, Brendo and, uh, and, and Benny and, uh, and my father-in-law did a great job. Check it out, guys, I'm stoked with it. So here it is, it's all sitting there. You can see how we've got a um, you know, place for the walls to sit on now. Okay, so that'll sit on there, there's a kitchen sink tap. So yeah, it's all come out really good. And that'll just uh, sit there dry. You can see it's a bit lower you know, in the bathrooms, because that's, that's so, they can mix up some mud and then they grade it, you know, with a like 20 degree fall or whatever it is, not 20 degrees, about 20 mil fall all the way to the, um, you know, the, the floor waste and stuff like that. So yeah, pretty happy. So I just got to let, let that dry now. And um, so they'll be dry by the weekend. So now I've got to get on some ordering some um, bricks, uh, lintels and stuff like that, some windows. Um, yeah, really thinking about double glazing on these front ones out, out the um, front here because um, across the other side there is uh, yeah, Perth Waste and they make, they make a lot of bins and stuff. Um, and so oh, oh, sometimes they're turning these bins over and they're just clanging, you know, when they're welding them and stuff. So you, sometimes you, you, know, you have these days where it's quite noisy when they're manufacturing these, these bins and stuff. So it might be good to the windows that face that, um, the bin joint there. Um, we might put some double glazing in um, and that 
I've never I've never had double glazing on, on any of the houses I've owned or anything, but apparently it stops a lot of noise and uh, and heat. So you know, soon when the sun goes over, it goes down a bit, it'll start copping a bit of bit of sun on the front window. So anyway, that's what we're up to. So into it next week again. So that'll be good. Um, so I've got a bit of stuff to order, and so we can continue moving on, and then finally move in here. So that'll be great. All right, guys, I'll catch you later.